Hey everybody, welcome to Algo Prep Master. And in this video, I want to talk about the linear search. Uh, linear search is a brute force algorithm. It's uh, basically a way for us to search in an array, uh, look for an element in an array. It's a very interesting algorithm. And another thing that I want to mention is that it's a uh, part of this JavaScript algorithms repository that I found on GitHub. And this repository is amazing. It has all the important data structures and algorithms, um, and they're all on JavaScript. So one, one of the things that you would notice as a JavaScript developer is that there is not a lot of uh, videos about data structures and algorithms like you would see uh, with Python, for example. So a repos repository like this is great because it, it has basically everything that you need uh, and, and things that you wouldn't even find on YouTube. So uh, with that being said, I wanna show you the implementation of, um, of the linear search. And it's, it's very simple, very easy to remember and very easy to implement and to code as well. Um, so we're going to have our function and we're going to call it linear search. And we're going to take an array and a key. And basically the way that this algorithm works is just like I mentioned it traverses through the elements of the array until it, it finds what it looks for and it has a, an average time complexity of uh, O of N which is pretty interesting so we want to set uh, we, we basically want to traverse the array and we do it with a for loop and then we use an if statement and we say if the array at the i indexed is equal to the key we want to return that element and if it's not we want to return minus 1 Pretty simple. Now let's try it out. We're going to log it to the console. And have a simple array with three elements, one, two, three, and look for the third element or uh, the, the, the three in the array. And as we can see in here, it gives us two. Uh, because index 0, 1, and 2, the, the third element, like the, the element 3, is in the second element, like the, the second element of the array. Now, what if we look for something that's not in the array? For example, 33, well, we're going to get minus 1. So, it's yeah, that's basically the whole point of um, this algorithm. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something today. I hope that you like this video. And the most important part is don't don't stop learning, don't stop studying because if you want to become a software engineer, um, knowing the data structures and algorithms is very important. It comes up in almost every full stack interview. So that being said, hope you guys like it. Please take a look at the repository and, and uh, learn everything that you need uh, if you like it please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and until the next one guys peace out